One of the very popular and critical question I hear wrong answers to all the time is, what does high availability mean for AWS applications? You cannot mess this answer up. If you do this, you will get rejected in your interview. Some of the wrong answers I hear is, high availability means even if one component fails, the applications will still be up and running. Another bad answer I hear is, even in case of a disaster, the application will be up and running in another region. These are wrong or sometimes very, very broad answer. So this is what the interviewer is looking for. And actually the answer is hidden in the term as well. High availability is tied to availability zones in AWS. So what high availability means is in the unlikely event of a availability zone going down in a region, your application should still be up and running. So let's understand with an example. Let's say you are running a simple microservice using application load balancer, EC2, DynamoDB. Application load balancer is inherently highly available. What that means is under the hood, application load balancer is running in multiple availability zones. So even if one AZ fails, your application load balancer will still be up and running. How about EC2s? Not highly available out of the box. You have to spin up another EC2 in another availability zone. So even if one AZ goes down, your application can still run in another EC2 in the other availability zone. DynamoDB is inherently highly available. So you don't have to do anything with that. This is what the interviewer is looking for because this concept comes up all the time in real world projects. If you want to know similar popular cloud interview questions, their average answers or wrong answers, and the delightful answers, simply comment guide and I will DM you the cloud interview guide that hundreds of my students have used to crack top tech interviews. Keep learning and keep rocking.